Welcome to this vlog you guys. This was a big fail because I was going to vlog us watching the Bachelor premiere tonight and then just turned off the TV and finished it and it's over. So sorry but basically I missed like a bunch at the beginning because we were kind of just like cleaning up and yeah if you saw my last vlog we're picking up Rudy tomorrow morning since he was actually neutered today so he's just staying overnight and I just wanted like everything in order and everything to be clean for when he comes home because I know he'll probably be like on medication like sleepy and I just wanted yeah to like get everything taken care of before he got home I'm preparing for my baby's arrival <laughs> so i feel like i missed a bunch of the beginning of that but i like watched the rest of it and i still i like, can't believe tasha season is over like i feel like that just ended yeah i really liked it um i thought it was good i feel like everyone feels like they know matt james like i feel like i know him from tyler cameron being friends with him you know so it's like funny i feel like people know like a lot about him already or maybe not because i know he wasn't on the bachelor or bachelorette seasons before which is new but yeah i really like him i think he's great i think this is gonna be a good season i love the girl that got the first impression rose i thought she was so sweet i noticed i feel like this is a common thing though i thought well i guess i only looked at a couple girls ages but i thought a lot of them were pretty young like i saw some 21 22 23 and in my mind i'm like is that like too young for matt james like he's 29 but I feel like they always have people of like all ages, like younger, older, like there's probably some in their 30s. I don't know. I didn't see everyone's age, so I bet the young ones just like don't say how old they are and people just like don't yeah. know, maybe. But now I'm I wonder like, if Matt I, knows. I need you to nominate me. Everyone yeah. nominate me, please. I think Louisa needs to be on the next <laughs> season. You guys, nominate Louisa. Please. You would be so good on there. You might be a little like shy or like nervous. You just need like a couple drinks. I think there's a limit. Of drinks? Oh, that they give you? Yeah. Or they let you drink? Yeah. Well, probably so that you're not like, you know. I honestly think it's honestly a mess not bad. I think it's like two per hour. Okay. I can't, I can't handle that. Guys, I, I think Louisa needs to be on there. That would be so good. But you would be so chill. You would be one of those girls that goes home the first night. Because, no, because listen to me. Because you would be so chill and you would be like, like if he's going to, you'd be playing hard to get. You'd be like, if he's going to talk to me, like he'll come and find me. And then he wouldn't. And no, he'd be but, like, no, girl, like you made no effort and you didn't try to talk to me. And like you're going no, home. But, and you'd be like, <laughs> oh, like my plan backfired because I was trying to like play hard to get so that you would come back to me. That would be you. You would be one of those girls. No, because that's me in real life. But like yes. in in Bachelor, if I wouldn't be like that, because I because you would be like, okay, I have to, to find a husband. I have I'm to kidding. finesse here. There's like 30 of us. Like I have to like make an effort. Exactly. Like, I can't I just would. be like, he'll right. come and find me. Right. So I'll give him just enough to reel him in. <laughs> but like you would still be mean. Like yeah. you would be the one that's like playfully like making fun of him. <laughs> I'm that. I'm that person. <laughs> Fun fact, I know it was filmed in PA. Fun fact, actually really, really so sad fact. Here. Do you know what that's from? <laughs> no. no. What is it from? They'll know. TikTok. Oh, yeah. you guys, Louisa always references TikTok. She's like, you know this TikTok and this TikTok? And I'm All like, day. No, it's like constantly in my head. Yeah. Welcome to the vlog, and we'll see you in the morning when we figure out. It's going to be so fun. This is going to be like the day that I got him. Like, I miss him so bad. I can't wait. You guys.
this was kind of just like in his throat, you know, when his head would kind of like be lower, but I got the perfect height pillow for him to get all cozy. <laughs> Until further notice, this is where I will be hanging out with Brody. It's wit and David. But like, say something interesting or something at least. Wait, what are we doing? You're in the vlog. Uh, Give me a little whoa. Come on. Well, I'm not gonna lie to you, Lou. I don't think Gigi wants us on her vlog. Yes, she does. We're reckless. Of course I do. See, yeah, she I'm just said, of course she does. We're reckless. Though. Okay, it's later. And sorry to be my vlog. Hey, I'm kidding. No, but that's the energy right now. My eyes are like this. Every <laughs> because of coffee, because now we're doing the cold brew. Oh yeah, Luisa got a little scrap to match my from sweatshirt. Brody, but it matched her sweatshirt, so he did it on purpose. So it's, it's aesthetically fun. good, boy. <laughs> yeah, I didn't bring you guys. We went to Starbucks. Luisa, know how my phone was shaking from my hand the other day? This vlog is gonna be like I this. might be shaking too. <laughs> okay, let's just put that there. Then we get vanilla cream cold brew. Worth the stomach ache every time. I'm over. Not I'm kidding. Over it. Not kidding. Like I'll probably go back to no dairy in like one second and just getting like almond milk because I that's like what I do 99% of the time. Is just a game changer. But something about the vanilla cream, the cold brew. Yeah. Yeah. No, I agree. So and good. um, we've switched because pumpkin foam is out. So yeah. this is the and new. And the cold brew just tastes like. Mm. Can't believe we got venties. We're gonna be crazy. <laughs> this is me right now. Oh, you guys need to see the go on Luisa's TikTok. The TikTok of her and Brody as they're sharing animal crackers. It's really freaking cute. He's so happy. Oh, also, I got so many DMs people being like, what leggings are those? Like, I feel yeah, like you no, could just they, see the color. And not even that, but in person, seriously, they look so good. Like, they make your legs look like really smooth. I don't really know how to explain it. <laughs> smooth. But this These is. These are the airlift leggings, you guys, from Aloe. Really fun. Oh yeah. And here's his caterpillar. He's so happy. Also, HelloFresh just came. I'm so excited. We've been going through the grocery, so this is a good time to have my HelloFresh come. Wait, I'm actually so excited to see what's in there because I'm gonna make one for dinner tonight, probably. Oh, and another thing I need to do with you guys literally right this second because what's today? January 6th. And I still have my Christmas phone case. Look, Lisa, it has to go. Louisa said that I didn't need I to get rid of my Christmas decorations as quick as I did. We're really premeditated on it. Premeditated? <laughs> like premature? I don't know if that's. Really I think premeditated is when it's like a premeditated like murder. Yeah, like, yeah. Like pre. Ignore that word. But anyway, you know how Taylor Swift says we can leave the Christmas tree up to January. Yeah. And every well, when I personally, when I heard that song, I was like. Is she crazy? Like, yeah, leave it up till January. At least she could have put February in there. Yeah. As if January was a stretch. Wait, do you remember my Boston apartment was up to like June? Like, yeah. we just never took it down. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And you, it was like January 1st. You're like, it's up. It's up. I was like, it needs to go. And now it looks empty in here. It's sad. But anyway, so I need to switch my phone case because it's not the holidays anymore. That's so sad. Now I want to keep it just for some residual holiday cheer. Yeah. I don't know. Big but, but I have a really cute new phone case. I actually need to show you, Lisa. It's really cute. It's very like neutral in my vibe. You guys know I've had Casetify phone cases on my phone for years now. Like they're literally the only cases that I ever have on my phone. If you're ever wondering. And by the way, before I forget to mention, my link for Casetify has always been the same. You guys, it's Casetify.com/gretchen. You'll get 20% off your new favorite phone case. The Impact case has always been my favorite because it's so protective. So that's the one that I actually had on my phone before you guys know this custom one I made obviously their phone cases are just the best because you can customize them like this kind of looks like my Instagram little feed but also I have my phone my phone my name on so many of my phone cases too you can do your name your initials like all sorts of stuff the reason that the impact case is so nice is because it has the military grade drop protection over six feet like I drop my phone literally every day and people that I'm with are always like oh my gosh is it okay like you know how people freak out and you're like no like it's fine it's case fine so I had the impact case before and then now this is the ultra impact case which is new and even more protective if you can see they added little like bumpers on the edges still has the military grade drop protection it has two different layers in their phone case that makes it even more protective and they're so slim obviously but so protective which is why they are my favorite and sadly we have to say 
goodbye to this holiday case. I just put this one on my phone. I think this one is so cute. You guys, it's so me. It's very neutral. It kind of looks like Sandy, and I love that I could add my name. I love that you just have your own personal style. You can like match that to your phone case because obviously you can customize it. Like I said, there are so many prints on there, you guys. Colors, designs to choose from. So I'll show you the other ones I got. Obviously, you just saw this one was a new one I got, but I just took it off because the holidays are over. This one, so many of you DM'd me and you were like, this is made for you, you need it. Like, oh my goodness. <laughs> Literally Brody and me getting my Starbucks every day, so fitting. And then this is also an impact case, just with a little leopard print. I love it so much, so I need to get that one too. And I know you guys that they recently launched a collection of antimicrobial cases, so they can keep you germ-free. They actually kill 99% of bacteria. And I know that their phone cases are also partially made of recycled plastics. If you wanna protect your phone and still want it to look great, obviously I would recommend a case by case. I'll have them linked down below, again, for the millionth time, casefy.com slash Gretchen. We'll get you 20 I think I have that same color. Rusty and dusty now, but like in its prime. It's, it's had its day. It's seen its, but that's it's so seen fun. better days. Oh, you know, one I have like that still is the glitter one. You know why? The glitter moves around. Yeah, you know why this was super useful? Because I'd go to Starbucks and they'd say, what's your name? And I'd just go like this. Because ah! <laughs> I'd be like, Louise Snook, huh? And I'm like, eh. <laughs> If you don't want to talk like, to anyone. Got it. Like, see, I did it today, too. I'm not kidding. <laughs> That's it's really the funny. best. And then they don't put it. They're like, Lisa, and you're like, no. And they don't put an O before the U. So. Wait, I've seen so many people spell it that Everyone. way. Everyone. It's like the U-I-S-A. I'm not okay. sure. Okay. Like, Louisa. We love our case by bone cases. Literally, all of our friends have them. That one that I have that KP has, you're like, someone else has this. I yeah. know it. I'm like, I mean, KP. I love it. They're actually I know. I I had your same it was like my, like, watercolor looking one, mm -hmm. but. Yeah, I know. Everyone wants the same. I used your code, by the way. You used my code? I'm Thank you. <laughs> Everyone, all my friends want to have the same phone as me. I have the 11 Pro Max because they want to steal my cases. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Now, I am Sorry. getting a <laughs> soul ride in. I didn't work out yesterday, and I just feel so much better when I do. So, I'm going to hop on my bike. There's a new Ross. Louise and I love Ross. So much. I cannot wait for the day, Louisa, that like everyone's good to travel again and you and I literally go to LA just to take his class. I can't wait to see that man. Because Sorry, we love his class. In person. <laughs> can't wait to see that legend. <laughs> We're so creepy because yeah, we just yeah. like love the instructor so much. So I'm going to do that. And then we'll see what we're up to for the rest of the day. Maybe making some TikToks because I feel so left out. Yes, sir. I feel really left out and Louisa loves TikTok, so. I'm gonna like fly through this class, I feel like, because I'm just like. <laughs> You guys, good? So good. Like I'm so excited right now. This is a buffalo Ready. chicken mashed potato I never roasted want to leave. broccoli meal, and Louisa's moving like, in. Like I'm so happy right now. <laughs> we were just saying how we're living our best lives and being the best version of ourselves and doing all the things that add up to the best version of yourself. I need people to like motivate me to like. Well, like when I was in college, I lived with KP and Abby, so like they're motivated, like they would like go to a soul cycle, whatever. And so I was always such a motivated person. I was my best self, like super confident, like best shape, whatever. And then quarantine happened, and like it's not that I lost my confidence, but like I feel like everyone, this is like a universal thing, like everyone like gained a little bit of weight and, and just, just like got lazy. lazy, and like there are no actual soul cycle classes, and I don't live with my best friends anymore. That the people I live with aren't like necessarily like. I mean, I don't know. They, they might work out. I, I don't really. But know yeah, when you really have good. like friends yeah. that are working out with you, it's like sure everyone different. knows, like. A workout buddy is like the best, like the best freaking thing. It makes you way more motivated. I feel like more motivated. And, and so, so just like being at home and being here like gets me back into like a routine. Home is in Texas. And eating food that like you cook and like stuff like that. 
So we're getting our, our best dogs back. Yeah. Misa's like, I literally have never drank so much water since being so here. I've literally, in my life, I don't think I've ever drank so much water. I drink like six of these a day. You guys know that how good. I got the highest, best version of myself from Tori. That's like all her. And, but she's like, I didn't even make up that idea. It's like an idea that like has gone around and like it's really good for like manifesting. But I was just thinking today, I want to set it out loud. I was like, wait, that just like clicked in my brain. Because I was like, Louisa, I feel like you feel lost when you. Your actions aren't aligning with your values yeah. deep down of what you think is like right and where you want to be and like what you value in your life and how you like your best self should be. Mm -hmm. And I always notice that too whenever I'm like feeling like in a rut and really crappy. It's like, well, what am I doing every day? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, what am I eating? What am I listening to? What am I consuming? Am I working out? Like, what am I filling my day with? Am I angry? Am I like resentful? Am I joyful? Like, you know? And especially when it's like just you, that you have to motivate yourself. It's so hard. Yeah. But it's like, I don't know, once you start doing those things, like I, for me it's right now, I'm like, this is so worth it. Like I never want to lose this feeling ever again. So I'm like gonna like do all those things when We're I We're being back. deep tonight. Yeah, <laughs> basically. Deep. But honestly, biggest realization, if any <clears throat> of you are post-grad, I, um, oh yeah, I do what I like. I like, I feel like people would shit on me for saying that I'm post-grad, but I feel like I will forever be post-grad post because whenever you like Enough. love college so much, you always are kind of kind of miss it and like compare how you are now to yeah. them and like and your times with friends yeah. and stuff. And I just feel like post-grad is obviously so hard for so many reasons. All your friends spread out. You, I mean, I'm not, but most people are going into like a traditional job and it's just like a big transition. And Luis and I were saying like a part of the reason and nobody so hard too. teaches you that. Like nobody, no. nobody like prepares you for that. And like you leave, and then all the all your friends are like you all had one thing in common, and it was your school. And once that's over, like everyone's gonna go like live their own lives. And like I just never, I never registered until I was living through it. And I was like, oh my god, like I'm never gonna live. And you like so have to put in the effort to like keep in touch with each yeah. other. And I feel like there should be more things that like teach you how to like cope with that because seriously, like nobody. You need to be class. It was just like it like hit me suddenly. Like, oh my god, what the heck? And also with like the whole pandemic thing. And I also have heard, I've, I've seen that, I think it was on TikTok or Instagram or something, and someone was like, that's your I, whole life you learn how to be a student. And then you graduate and you're like, now that, what? Like that's my identity realized, is being a student. That's when I realized that it was a thing. When I saw that TikTok, I'm like, people feel the same way. Like, I thought it was just me. Like, mm -hmm. but no. No, everyone feels freaking lost. Like, for example, in Addie's early 20s. Like, I don't know, it's just weird. But you know, like your friends are everywhere. And Luis and I were saying, too, Sorry, this is a long moment, but this is important because it is, no, at the end of the day, like it'll help someone. Like someone must be feeling this way too. Yeah. Do you guys feel like this sometimes? Like, not to be like sad, but at the end of the day, like you have yourself. Like you have to live with like yourself and love yourself and everything. And like, yeah, you have your friends and your family and boyfriend and cousin and dad and whatever. But like, you have yourself. At the grave, it's you and you, baby. Yeah. Like you should be like proud of it it's also so hard from when you go from college if you might have like a big like motivation like support system and like you still have that but if you're all spread out like every day you wake up and you're like oh my god i have to motivate myself like i have to motivate my motivate myself to get ready get dressed maybe in a pandemic i don't have to like i'm working at home or am i working at all and like no one will know if i work out or not like it's just what I said I should do, I know I should, but like I don't have to, and you know, like you, 100%. like everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you guys already know. Good morning. Here we go. Good job, buddy. Oh my gosh! Don't get it everywhere. When I ask for a puppuccino, I another worker goes, "There's a puppy." <laughs> really? Like, yeah. <laughs> It's a puppy. They always give like, like depending on like the worker which one you go to, they give you different size things of puppuccinos, you know? Yeah, the ones like, that sometimes we've been getting it's, like, are huge. A shot glass well. or they give you like a little, I don't even know, like, a red cup. Little Is that yummy? So, mm -hmm. Am I the best mom ever? Tell her she is, buddy. <laughs> You guys, he gets all the puppuccinos since he's our little patient. Girl, put your records on. <laughs> Tell me your favorite. I'm in the singing mood. <laughs> okay, I like love being around you though because you're always singing and it's so like happy. <laughs> like it's so like cheerful. 
I'm just like every like since growing up I always sing at home like always like I'll just belt and my mom will be like Que bonito we sing ah. Like that's a joke, like it's not actually pretty, but like she'll just say that. That's so sweet of her. But good morning, you guys. The last thing you saw was us eating our HelloFresh, which was delicious. Like we keep talking, are you looking at my hair now? We keep talking about it. So good, get the buffalo chicken. I forget from like what else it was called after that. But it was just buffalo chicken, mashed potatoes, and roasted broccoli. And from someone who's never had HelloFresh before, like I can never vouch had. for it now. Like so freaking good. I just like can ordering it. Mm -hmm. I like this one. Now we're at Starbucks, you can tell. So we've been, you guys know we've been getting the vanilla cream cold brew and the cream just makes it so good. Like yeah. yes, it hurts my stomach, but it, it honestly is so it's good. It's the game changer. And everyone was DMing me being like, I'm lactose intolerant and I can 100% attest that the vanilla cream is more So good, yeah. And so today I switched it up and I got, and mine looks like, looks good. Like it looks like fun with like the different yeah, colors it in does. it. Grande cold brew cinnamon almond milk foam. And I added a splash of almond milk in there because or else it would have just been cinnamon okay, yeah, almond milk foam. And it definitely isn't as sweet or like creamy as that, but it's still good. Cone just makes it so cute. It's so cute but sad. I know, we look at it. Who has how many like, TikTok ideas that we can do with that? You know, just let us know. I want to do the one. Louisa, Louisa was showing me the TikTok of where you take a picture with a picture of your younger self. Like with that, like it's effect. like the green screen warp, and he needs to do that. I don't, I don't know. I could like it would be a picture of Brody, and then a picture, a little picture of him when he was a puppy. That would be so Maybe. cute. Now we are gonna go do a yoga. Luisa has never done yoga before. Mm -mm. Like I'm shut. You guys, <laughs> look at this picture I just took. <laughs> when the puppuccino hits. <laughs> Fail. I didn't chose doing yoga. At the end of it, I was like, oh my gosh, I was gonna set up my camera, but you know what? You guys saw us doing bar the other day. It's honestly pretty similar to that. It's just like little strengthening movements where we add in weight. It's really good. Your first yoga ever. I know. Huh? And that wasn't even like real yoga. It was like yoga sculpt like um, like weights in there, kind of like circuit. So normal yoga would be just like the beginning. Yeah. I wouldn't like that. stretchy. Yeah. But so exciting. I don't know if we told them. I feel like I've talked about this like 8,000 times, but you guys have seen these picture frames that I got over here. And I've been waiting for the matte black and white photos I ordered to come in the mail and I just tracked them and they got delivered. So what I can show you a montage of instead of yoga is us hanging these up, which is even more exciting for me because I've been waiting and waiting. And we're gonna have four right here, like one, two, three, four. In my head, this is gonna look good, so I really hope that it looks good. Like like in reality you know yeah. like 10 up there might look like way too much but i think it's gonna look good so cross your fingers okay you guys this is the finished look of all the pictures above my bed that I've envisioned for so long. And let me tell you at first, right as I look back at the footage of me just hanging them up um, and just looking at them, I was like, eh, I don't know how I feel. I feel like whenever something changes, I'm like, wait, maybe I just liked it the way it was before better. I'm very picky, <laughs> like literally about everything. Um, so at first I was like, oh, are they too high? Should they be like closer to the bed frame? I don't know. Also, these, I've talked about this so many times, but you guys know I taped out how they would look before. And the tape, when I pulled it off, pulled off some of the paint on the wall. So, I really hate that and gotta fix that. I don't know if I should just tape over it, but I feel like it's like, a part of the drywall is like messed up. I don't know, maybe tape, maybe paint would just fix that, but I don't know. Anyway, I really, really love the way this turned out because I've been wanting to do this for so long. We definitely needed like a touch of personal photos in our home. I thought it would look nice and it's definitely growing on me. I'm liking it more and more. The more I'm looking at it, the more it's up. I've debated doing black frames and now I'm like, should, I, should the frames have been like a little skinnier? But I really like that those frames are like basically the same color as our nightstands. So I think it goes pretty well. Um, and I ordered matte black and white photos online from, honestly I forget if it was from CVS or Target Photo, but Either way, they both have the 8x10. That's the size these photos are. Matte photo option. And I did the best I could with leveling, centering, making them perfect. Yeah, did the best I could. All I'm saying is you don't need no man to help you. You got it yourself, girl. <laughs> I also realized I didn't even say it's the next day from the last time I was vlogging. And I was like, yeah, we're going to hang up photos now. And then we didn't. 
and it's the next day and it's nighttime again and yeah also this new set is from revolve how freaking cute is it if i can find the links to it if it's still in stock i'll link it down below this blue sweatshirt says everything is the best and then the blue sweatpants that go with just have a little pink heart right there so i just think this is so cute i'm just getting so many questions in my dms already they're 8 by 10 photos but the frames if you are wondering are 12 by 15 just found them at home goods so i cannot link sadly and um so the matting i think is what's called the white part that goes around just came like with the frames um but yeah you could probably do the math if you wanted to know the dimensions of everything because frames 12 by 15 and then the photos are 8 by 10 and oh i need to show you the ones that i hung up out there last night but i never showed you so come with me these are the ones that we hung up out here on this little wall i just felt like this would be a good touch out here in our kitchen dining living space you know i just felt like we could use some personal photos out here so i just decided to go with these ones so cute now i'm having like deja vu wait a minute I showed those ones on my Instagram story, so maybe I should show you guys up close which ones they are. Um, but I didn't show on the vlog, I'm realizing. Okay, this is Max and I in Albany at 677 Prime, like one of the yummiest, fanciest restaurants we went to my mom once, so, so good. That was a while ago. Max and I, obviously, right here. I'm like, is this weird to put right here? Because the pictures of us sitting right here on our two year anniversary. But yeah, I love that one of us. I think it's really cute. And oh my gosh, this one of Brody, I can't even. You guys already know, Brody's the star of the show. He has to drink his water. <laughs> I'm vlogging, I'm kidding. But I just think it's funny how he always is drinking when I vlog. Um, this is him, the day we picked him up. So dang cute, I love this photo so much. So that had to come out here. And then this one, Max and Brody and I took recently when it was snowy. <laughs> So dang cute. Max Brody and I when we moved here, Max and I, I guess I am showing you all of them and telling you about them. <laughs> Max and I in the Outer Banks, me and baby Brody the day after we got him on Cape Cod, me and Max and Brody that was in Albany where I'm from and then that photo of Max on the end I love. I took that photo of him in Miami and then that first one all the way up on the left I can barely reach my arm is Max and I on Newberry Street. It was snowing. There's Max and Brody sleeping. It's so cute. That was in the summer. Me and Max here at a restaurant we love. And sorry, I'm like shaking, holding my arm up so high. Um, this is a photo Max took of, a, of I, of me in Boston. We were like on a little date. I don't know. I just love that photo. I just thought it was fun to have these like artsy ones of us in here. And then Max and Brody on the boat on Cape Cod and oh, I just love the way it turned out. Hi sleepy guy. <laughs> Sorry if you guys can hear my washer, it's so loud going right now. Oh also you might be able to see this is where his little wrist was shaved during his little procedure when he was neutered. So that's what that is. It looks kind of scary but he's healing and everything. I think that was just from blood work that they did before. But if you are wondering where his donut is, that's what we've been calling it. I don't know if that's the right term. His little airplane pillow. <laughs> we've also been calling it that. But it's really just like a soft cone that's been really good so that he doesn't try to pull out his stitches, mess with his incision down there. Um, a lot of you were actually telling me that little flexible puppies like that can reach their incision even with the donut. So I guess just to talk about it a little bit, have I talked about it in vlogs before? I like don't know. I'm feeling like all over the place right now. Um, but anyway, this has been really good for him because he's really comfy in it. He loves it. Like, look, he literally loves it. I think he likes it more. Whoa! <laughs> more than not having it because it's like a pillow always around him. And so he lays down and it's just like comfy. Um, but he is very flexible. Be aware, beware if your dog is getting spayed or neutered and you want them to have, do not chew on my rug, buddy, thank you. Um, want them to have a soft cone that if it's not like the traditional like hard plastic cone, they still might be able to reach their incision, which he could, but it hasn't been a problem because he hasn't tried to like mess with it or anything. Um, so we just have that on to be like safe and it's off right now because I was reading online to like have I need I just like look into things too much like it's probably not the big deal but it's just been on him for a while and I was reading how it's good to take it off and obviously he's being supervised by me to make sure like that he's not you know pulling out his stitches or anything but it's good to take it off so that 
their neck can like breathe and everything like that so yeah now you're biting my toes okay goodbye guys i'm so excited right now if you know me you know the trader joe's sweet potato gnocchi is so dang good i cannot wait for this we sort of had like a late lunch dinner situation so this is like late night dinner snack i don't know but louisa hasn't had it before oh also she leaves tomorrow morning so sad i'm so grateful truly she came at the best time obviously with me being alone for the past like week and it's just been so nice to have her here and have her company obviously like i just feel so lucky and blessed that she was able to come and spend time with me and i feel like she wasn't even the vlog that much i feel like i wasn't vlogging that much but i don't know this has just been so good for me mentally and just everything to spend so much time with her we've really just been like chilling relaxing catching up spending quality time together and yeah so driving to the airport early tomorrow morning to drop her off and she hasn't had the Trader Joe's sweet potato, sweet potato gnocchi before so I'm so excited to have her try it and see what she thinks. It's been so fun like cooking together and we've just been like introducing each other to foods that we love. Okay Trader Joe sweet potato gnocchi. I think it's like a sage sauce. I don't really know what else is in it. So good right? So freaking good. I knew you would like. Mm -hmm. I feel like we like similar things. Mm -hmm. Or we like know when what the other person's like. gonna like. Mm -hmm. Like you don't like mushrooms. We were about to make a mushroom. But I knew you would like my garlic bread. Obviously. I mean, and like. Who doesn't like garlic bread? Oh, this morning we did like omelets. I wish I showed them. Those were so good. Oh. Yes. Um, Gretchen's been chefing it up for me these days. Chefing it up. Chefing it up. I just feel like if you weren't here. I don't even know. I would be like so lazy because I wouldn't have someone else to like, eat with. Like I would just be eating like frozen pizza or like I don't know. You know what I mean? Like yeah. when you're by yourself. Luisa and I are very similar in that we hate being alone. We do. And we, and when we're together, it's like we motivate each other to do everything. Mm -hmm. So we're just better together, basically. You could say we have a codependent. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. You could say we're codependent, but we're good. We're independent, but function better together. <laughs> Ending off my vlog here, everyone. Louisa is tucked. Brody is also tucked. <laughs> Good night and goodbye. Louisa will see you next time she sees ya. That's so sad. Thanks for watching this vlog.